Hi. Today I'd like to talk about some of the interesting things that have arrived at Antique Cupboard in the last few weeks. I do this pretty often and it's kind of fun to show everyone the neat things. So here is a Jensen letter opener. It's also used for paper cutting. It's very sleek. It's very modern. It's, you know, it's functional. Here's a better one. This one was made by Gorham. It's pretty heavy duty. It's got this cowboy on top. It says hands up. It's got a little gun on it. It's heavy. I like it. You know, it's really a neat piece. Okay. So, um, but it sort of reminded me when I got our most recent piece about a, a movie that I saw in the 1990s. There was this Australian named Crocodile Dundee. And he came to the United States and he went to New York City. And there, first thing that happens, some young hoodlum comes up to him with a knife, something like this, about this size, and, and says, give me all your money or something like that. And, uh, you know, this Bushman crocodile Dundee was not really afraid of this little knife. He said, reaching behind him into his sheaf. Lad, that is not a knife. This is a knife. And he pulled this giant bladed thing out. And I would say the same. So this we bought in the last couple of weeks. And it is also a paper knife. It's probably the most extraordinary paper knife I've ever seen. And it's got this scantily clad woman up on the top this all silver blade. It's um, all of 18 inches long, made by the Whiting Company in the 1890s. So anyway, this is a knife. All right, then a couple other interesting things. I really like this pattern. It's called Rose by Knowles, a little tiny company. And there's a million rose patterns, but I do like this one about the best because it's got this cute little bug crawling up the stem and they did wonderful work in the serving area. So they gold wash the blade, they bright cut the blade, they pierce the blade. I have seen fantastic pieces in this pattern and I really do like it. Next item. Okay, here is a fabulous Bombier spoon. Okay, so Bombiers, fruit salad that drains. Most people use these things these days for candy or nuts. You know, it's, it's a handy little piece. Usually the quality of these are, is quite poor. You know, they're cast. Uh, they're, they're not very good. But this one is great. It's got cupids in the middle with little arrows. It's got grapes leaves applied and grapes applied. It's got the cupids going around the side. It's got cupids on the handle. This was made by the company Theodore B. Starr, who was acquired by Reed and Barton also. And it weighs about 10 ounces. And uh, I would say it's about the best I've ever seen. So it's a pleasure getting this piece in. Okay. Uh, the last thing on our tour is this little black coffee set. Okay, so I thought it was really neat with the, um, with the string that's tied around it. It's by Whiting, 1890s. And then we got it to the shop and my daughter said, hmm, that looks familiar. You know, America's finest silver is at the Dallas Museum of Art. And there's, they produce this book of their collection. What do we find? But we find this black coffee pot in the collection. So, so I guess ours is definitely museum quality. Ours does not have the gold flowers on the, on the front, but it's obviously the same piece. What's neat about our set is it contains two pieces not in the museum and the two pieces, the sugar and creamer. One, on one side, it has a motif with bamboo, and on the other side, it has a motif with grapes. So, completes the set, and um, another piece of information to be added 
to the information of America's great silver. Thank you.